Welcome to the original rock and wrestling radio show. Welcome to Beyond Ringside, your source for wrestling, MMA, and boxing in the Southeast. To contact the Ringside Roundtable of Beyond Ringside, email them at beyondringside at gmail.com. And now, your host for Beyond Ringside, the man, no myth, all legend, Fast Eddie Lane. On a championship Sunday and then some, welcome Live from the vault in the Full Range Entertainment Studios in Birmingham, Alabama, this is Beyond Ringside. Thank you, Mike Macaroni, for the intro. Always appreciate it. I'd like to welcome in tag team partners, Brooks Logan. Yeah, you lose my attention because I'm watching this epic NASCAR race that I never even watch. I don't know why I'm into this, but if you lose me, that's why. It's because I'm watching <laughs> It's okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get updates from you as the situation goes on. The big screen's in the other room. Welcoming back in, the Wicked Nemesis. We'd like to give a big shout-out to uh, one of our ardent supporters uh, of this show, the SEC West. I'd like to welcome back in tag team partner Mark Mabo Bowman. Well, you know what? Sometimes, I guess if you're under contract with WWE, it, it pays to smoke real marijuana and not some fake <laughs> <laughs> Unless... <laughs> Unless you're in the main event of Survivor Series. And ladies... Womp, yeah. And we would like to welcome in our very special guest at this time, ladies and gentlemen, professional wrestling star, Epic Grant Mitchell. Good to have you on board, buddy. Hello, guys. Uh, thank you for having me. It is definitely our pleasure. First off, now, I've been trying to do a little bit of research here and there, and I haven't had a chance to catch that much information. First off, you need a wiki page. Um, <laughs> just kidding. But for those who have not had a chance to find out about you, um, give everybody a little bit of, a, of the backstory on Epic Grant. Um, Epic Grant, um, I'm the last trainee of uh, the great late Ted Allen, the Nightmare. I've been in the business for about a year and maybe three months, kicking a lot of ass, um, trying to make, uh, make a name for myself. You know, I'm working pretty much everywhere in this region, and I'm um, just trying to move up, you know, living the dream. Okay. Now, let me ask right off the bat, um, what was one thing? Well, let me go ahead and ask the signature question, and it's a two-pronged attack. Um, for everybody, there's two moments as they make their way towards professional wrestling, for those of us in the business. Number one, of course, when did you become a fan of the business? And do you know about the area where, you know, the different people that you were watching? And number two, the moment that the little light bulb went over, went on over your head and you said, I've got to do this. For you, what are those moments? Well... I mean, it, it was since the day I was born. Uh, you know, I'm a Georgia boy, so I grew up loving Sting. I mean, I used to go get my hair cut like Sting, uh, even the rat tail, Sting for Halloween. I love, you know, Steamboat. And, you know, it's just since the day I was born, uh, it's been something that's drawn me in. And, you know, when I got older, I, I pursued music. And, you know, I was a drummer, and I did a band. We toured for a while. But the thing about music is you have to rely on poor people. And I did that for a while, and I loved it, but then, you know, one day I sat down, I was like, if I can do this with music, you know, I really love wrestling. I love it more than anything. So, um, you know, I'm not getting any younger, so hell, I was like, let's just give it a shot. Okay. Mabo, come on in. Yeah, what makes Grant M Mitchell so epic? <laughs> well, the fact that, you know, I'm, I've been in this a year, and, um, I mean, I'm light years above most people. I mean, there's guys that are in there that are 10 years that I'm just running laps around the ring. Um, my look, my beautiful hair, my smile, my gear, the way I walk, talk, everything. It's just epic. The ladies love it. The guys want it. It's just the truth. Brooks Logan, come on in. Other than stink, who, uh, <laughs> who are some of your favorite wrestlers? Uh, give me a hair. Are you talking about when I was young or, you know, recently? Yeah, when you uh, were younger. When you were younger, other than, like I said, stink. Uh, who were some other guys you looked up to? <laughs> I mean, when I was real young, I was a big, you know, obviously Sting, uh, Steamboat, um, even, uh, Elegante fan for a while, uh, Flying Brian. Then once I got a little bit older, you know, I, Jericho was a big fan. You know, when the Outsiders came in, that was really cool at the time. Uh, I was definitely on that bandwagon. And then, you know, when Sean had his big run, the first one, um, yeah, I was all about that. So, you know, just being younger, it was your, your basic baby faces, good workers, except for Elegante, but, you know, he was a giant, so. <laughs> Didn't think too much about the Shockmaster, huh? Wicked Nemesis, come on in. Epic Grant Mitchell. Well, well, well. Long time no see, my friend. Hey, I got to tell you a story real quick. I, um, 
You did a dick move on me one time. Uh, the first time I met Nemesis, I did a show for uh, Steve Platinum. And oh, then oh, had that's that name here. <laughs> I, I love... I'm oh, sorry, I bite my tongue. Nemesis, you're an awesome guy, but I owe you one because you hit me in the damn head with a trash can from the Masquerade. And uh, oh, I, yeah. played a, I played yeah, a couple shows I there. The hell you are, I you and the fact, and the fact that you blew the last spot of the match, which you called, I really didn't like. So you know, you I owed, I owed you one. But epic, you know, you're known for your flatulence. Let's just go ahead and say it. You know, and you have a thing about drinking these egg whites just to energize the problem. What where did the drinking of the egg whites come from? Oh Lord. Well, <laughs> to be epic, to be epic, your body has to be epic. And um, you know, there's there's some good and there's some bad, but uh, every aspect of my life is amazing, and that comes with uh. You know, I'm I'm known for uh, sometimes to leave an epic stink bomb in uh, some of the locker rooms. Uh, no, I think it's a little bit more than sometimes. Uh, I think you actually made Mark Grayson, Mr. Grayson, a uh, <laughs> friend of the show, throw up at a show. I do believe. I'm well, that's that out. You know, this jur- journalistic integrity, you know. Well, you know, that has to do with a large vagina, if you ask me. So. <laughs> now, if I may, um, as you're making your way into the industry, who do you? Um, who are the people that you give uh, most of the credit for training you so far? Definitely, uh, you know, a lot of people don't know this. Uh, uh, I tried to get in business for a while, but obviously, there's as much. You know, you're told not to. You know, believe half of what you hear and whatnot. And I talked to a lot of people about training, and I knew half the dudes were vegetable. And uh, one of my good buddies, uh, one of my kung fu buddies, is. Uh, he teaches with Bill Eady, and he was the one that suggested Ted to me. And um, so Ted was there, but what most people know is the fact that Kyle Matthews, from the get-go, was there taking bump after bump, move after move. Um, he did the real work, uh, physical work. And, um, I mean, days, just me and him, bump after bump, teach me everything, rain. I mean, those days, we, we set up a ring in my backyard and, uh, drilling, 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 just me and them. And, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm very fortunate, uh, for the way I was taught and, um, I'm very grateful for that. Okay. Now, um, where all have you worked for the most part? I mean, you've worked primarily in the southeast, southeastern U.S., right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, what are some of the promos, what are some, um, some of the promotions outstanding that you've been working with? You know, I do Pro South mostly every Friday. I do Buck Cannon, which is, I think, West Georgia Championship Wrestling. I do uh, Deep Southern Championship Wrestling with uh, Woody, great guy. Um, everybody should love Woody. He's, he's honest to guys, one of the best people in this business. I do UIW. I've uh, done Rampage a couple times. So, uh, you know, basically everything in this area, Georgia, Alabama. You know, I'm just trying to make my way around here and then eventually, you know, move up north. Now, I was about to say, with the exception of um, the two majors, as far as the television, where I'll, sh- I'll say three now. No, we'll, hold, we'll keep Ring of Honor in the mix. But with the exception of Impact and E, if there is a promotion right now or an area that you'd like to work in geographically in the lower 48 of the United States, where would that be? Uh, you're saying just the United States? Well, for right now. I mean, obviously the big one. Are we, are we talking Vince? I mean, WWE, if honest people say that they would never do that, but I think if you're in this business and... You don't want to work in the WWE. You're crazy. I mean, it's it's the golden land. It's it's the. I mean, that's the promised land. That's where. I, that's my main goal. You know. But obviously, places like Ring of Honor, Chikara, Evolve, uh, Dragon Gate. You know. Um, you know, just all your hell. I mean, I'm young. I'll work anywhere. You know. <laughs> Good perspective on that one. Now, the reason why I say leave Ring of Honor into the mix, because when different people come up in the industry, and as they learn more about not only the business itself, but what they can do in the business, um, of course, you know, in the first few years, you always sit back and say, no limits, no limitations whatsoever. And then as the time goes on, you find that you're more suited to one style or another style, heel, face, you know, or different technical styles in the ring. Whether, um, and then you look at different organizations and... One of the things that I've always said, and this is something that's actually held very true, when you when your forte is in one direction and you see a company that goes in another direction and you don't know how comfortable you're going to be in that direction, you might focus your aim somewhere else. And that's why I was leaving. That. That's why I made it a point to leave ROH in the mix. But yeah, bringing up um, companies like Chikara Pro Wrestling, Dragon Gate USA, Evolve, some tremendous organizations out there. Even um, Combat Zone Wrestling because they do a lot more than just hardcore and um, ultra violent. But yeah. Always keeping the eyes open. Yeah, and I agree. A lot of people look at the uh, at the E as the promised land, and by the same token, you know, smoke the right things, and it'll be even better. But breaking story from the first half hour. However, uh, Mark Bowman, come on back in. Yeah, 
who would be the epic tag team partner for epic grant mitchell well uh, that's a good one you know my favorite man would be jericho i mean just he's re- re- reinvented himself over and over again just you know every aspect of the business i love what he does the way he works the way he walks the way he talks jericho he's the man and i as a fan i'm i can't wait till he comes back if he comes back, he keeps teasing about that, and nobody knows where his head's really at. I think he's just trying to keep the attention. And God love the spotlight, too. Brooks Logan. Yes, I have a question about your feud going with Kyle Matthews. Um, I'm looking at pictures of Mr. Matthews and yourself, and I would dare say that you guys are twin brothers. One has longer hair, though. What did he do that made you so mad? Uh, start a feud with this guy that looks like your identical twin. Well, I mean, it started, like I said, Kyle was training with me from the get-go, uh, from every aspect of the business, and then slowly but surely, he started making these big shot moves. Uh, it started when we had a training session, and then he had to go wrestle Daniel Bryan. It, or we were training and all of a sudden he's got to go to Japan and I'm riding with him and I'm lost and then it's Dragon Gate and then it's this and then it's wrestling Davey Richards and then it's TNA and I, it's, it's upsets me because Kyle, I know he's doing this just to rub it in my face and make me jealous that he's a superstar and I'm just a little trainee and I I've had enough. Him. Yeah. Oh. So um, I'm... I'm going to make a change. I'm going to take what he loves the most, and it's that stupid beard that he wears on his face. So, in other words, basically the situation with him started out as one thing in particular, but it started to become a little bit more personal, and he made it a little bit more personal. And now that it's really, he's in your opinion, he's pushed it way too far, right? Yeah. I mean, it, it wasn't, it, he, he doesn't have the courage to say it to me, but I know deep and down, we used to be riding partners. He used to call me every day. He would text me you know, um, the check on me. And then the bigger, you know, I'm starting to make a name for myself. He slowly but surely is pushing himself away like he's a jealous of what I'm accomplishing. And then pretty much Kyle Matthews is just a one-up. Okay. Wicked Nemesis, come on in. Now, with all kidding aside, Grant, you know, I'm, I'm a fan of yours. You know that. Uh, you are part of a tag team at NWA Pro Cell. Yes, sir. You are Wayland, are Wayland Associates, if you will. Am I correct? How, how do you see yourself with this situation with Rhodes? Would you consider yourself an associate of Rhodes? Well, the problem was Wayland Rhodes was holding us back, okay? Wayland Rhodes couldn't get the job done when it was time. I mean, I'm the champion of what was known as the Southern Stud Enterprise, and uh, the last couple of weeks I had to trim the fat, so to say, and we're now known as the Epic Enterprise, and Wayland Rhodes has been kicked to the curb. Now, let me, now this match that you had at, at uh, the, the what what people considered Piedmont, you know, NWA Pro South WrestleMania show. You and your tag team partner did a double super kick, and for some reason, yours right on the button, just epic. You know, I'm I know you've read the review. Why in the hell would your partner? And how many how many times have you guys tagged? A hundred times. Why the hell would your guy miss? Can you speak up for him? Do you, since you are tag team partners, you know, and you did get rid of the Southern Stud, who I consider, you know, the prize and crown jewel, sorry, Ace Haven, of Pro South. I mean, how, how can you speak up for this? This is blasphemy, kid. Well, first, it, like I said, it's no longer Southern Stud Enterprise. It's known the Epic Enterprise. So get that right. The next thing is, they, he's a young buck. He's learning. Okay. He's, um, I got there and he was lost. You know, he was, jerking the curtains, uh, losing every match, and I'm trying to take the guy under my wing, and, you know, he's young, and, yes, one half of that super kick was, let me say, epic, and the other half, you know, sometimes you mess up, and uh, I think Spade's got a bright future, but he's still got a lot to learn. You, know, like, you said something about, about you know, uh, Spade, you know, losing and being lost and, you know, losing all the time in the up <laughs> Dude, that's everybody minus Ace Haven up there. You going to take everybody under your wing with this to Brian Alexander? <laughs> I mean, you can't do that. You just can't rescue, you know. Sometimes dogs need to be put down. Personally, I like to think about this way, Epic, and, you know, you can take this if you will, but, you know, sometimes a broom won't do the job. That's why I carry a shotgun. So, you know, you, you guys are a great tag team, but are you going to take every stray dog in and take them on your way? You can only do so much, Epic. Well, you, you know, I agree with you. You know, sometimes I get a tour back from carrying people. It's it's just not pro South. I mean, this whole area, there's some great guys and there's some guys that just suck, you know, and that's the truth. And uh, I carry people, and um, in the beginning, you know, people were teaching me, carrying me things. But, yeah, if it gets to the point where uh, someone's holding me back like Waylon was, I'll, 
you know, I'll put them out to the pasture, so to say. Now, one of the shows that you're working on a regular basis, you brought this up a couple of minutes ago, is Pro South Wrestling. Their base is in Piedmont, Alabama, uh, 627 Southern Avenue. They run shows every Friday night. I believe uh, bell time's, what, 7.30 right now? 7 or 7.30. 7 or 7.30? Yeah. And <laughs> Whenever Ace Haven feels like it, Eddie. When Ace Haven, when Zeebs gets there, that's when the party starts. Without him, it doesn't happen. Uh-huh. <laughs> And of course, we are referring to a former guest or a guest here on Beyond Ringside on more than one occasion. That would be the last hero, Ace Haven. Now they've got another great show coming up. They run weekly outings every Friday night, like I stated, in Piedmont, six twenty seven Southern Avenue. And you're in the middle. And Brooks brought it up just a couple of minutes ago, and I want to ask you to expound on it just a little bit more. You've got a situation right now as it stands with Kyle Matthews. You're going to be going one on one this coming Friday night in Piedmont, and the stipulations in play. It's your hair versus Kyle Matthews' beard, right? Uh, yeah, which I'm, uh, I'm not a 100%, uh, happy about that, uh, decision. Let me just let you know that. Well, do you feel that you were conned into it, coerced into it, railroaded <laughs> into it? I mean, I mean, I know that you'd made a reference to the beard, but you had also said, um, off air that you don't personally have a beard and you're not comfortable growing one. So everybody decided to push you in the direction or you were pushed into, in the direction of putting your hair on the line and in lieu of a beard. I mean, do you feel like you were un- unfairly coerced on that? Well, the problem is uh, you have promoters that listen to the fans, and we all know the fans are idiots. They're Piedmont redneck, inbred idiots, okay? So when a gentleman like myself suggests a beard versus beard match, because yeah, I, I can grow a couple stubbles, you know, it, it looks nice, and I wanted to have a traditional beard versus beard match, and I present it, and these idiots start chanting, shave his head. Now, in all sincerity, let's put let's put everything in the same basket. Which do you think would have a a greater impact in the overall Pro South scenario? A beardless Kyle Matthews or a bald epic Grant Mitchell? Well, I mean, Jesus Christ, have you seen my beautiful hair? Um Yeah, it's up on screen right now. Yes, I mean the ladies I mean there's gonna be some broken hearts, but you know, Epic had short hair before. It looks nice. It looks nice, but um Kyle Matthews, he has had that beard. He, that's like his Samson, so to say. If he loses that beard, he looks like a little girl. Now, so, if I can kind of put you on the spot for a second, and we may do this in a, in a different direction, if there was one direct message, kind of like in promo mode, we'll go there, um, if there's a direct message that you would want to send not only to Kyle Matthews, but to the fans of Pro South Wrestling regarding the, um, the event that's coming Friday night, what would that message be? First of all, you will... You know, Piedmont or Pied Monsters, whatever you want to call yourself, you don't pay my bills, so I don't work for you. And as uh, Kyle Matthews, you can go to Wild, uh, Wally World, buy you some Just for Men for that little beard, uh, make that little chia pet on your face look really nice because uh, you're no shave November's ending early. I know you've been to Dragon Gate, Japan, uh, Ring of Honor, all of that. But come November 25th, you're going to know why I'm Epic Grant Mitchell and you're just an epic failure. We got a couple of seconds. Let's go one more quick round. Mabo, come on back in one more time. Curly fries or home style? Oh, definitely curly fries. But uh, if you've seen the epic uh, eight pack, you'll know I don't eat a lot of fries. But when it comes to uh, Arby's, I definitely have a weakness for those curly fries. And don't forget the little cheese sauce on the side. There you go. Brooks Logan, come on back in real quick. Yeah, he said earlier that this. Uh, Pro South has a promoter that actually listens to the fans. Uh, I'm now Googling where Piedmont, Alabama is. Uh, I'm going to try to make the next show, see if that is the case, because I have yet to be to a local show that a promoter actually does that. But um, I think it's over past, almost at the Georgia line. I might can make that show. I would love to be a peed monster for just one night. So I thought you said this this Friday night you'll be putting your lovely locks on the line. It's like hadn't been washed in months. But uh, <laughs> um, yeah, I think, I think I'm gonna ch- try to get out there and catch that match. Okay. Now, actually, Piedmont is pretty simple to get to. It's not that difficult to find. You can do it in Yahoo Search, Yahoo Maps, or that G word also. That, um, that Maps program works pretty well as well, Microsoft Live Earth. So for those of you who listen in the eastern Alabama area, western Georgia area, Piedmont, like I said, easy to get to. Show happens every Friday night around 7 o'clock p.m. Wicked, come on in one more time real quick. Okay, here we go. I'm going to ask you two names. I want you to give me a one-word answer. The first word that comes to mind, Jamie Holmes. Uh, uh, say it again. Jamie Holmes. Who? Jamie Holmes. I don't know. Who's Jamie Holmes? You say Katie Holmes? Katie Holmes? You say John Holmes? Sherlock Holmes. I know John Holmes. Sherlock. Nice, 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 uh, take take me home. Nice, 
No, I was just, I was just messing with Grant. Grant, tell everybody how it feels to be hit with a trash can by the wicked nemesis. <laughs> I'll, I'm, next time I see you, I will punch you right in the <laughs> just to let you know. <laughs> If you can reach me, because you're a tall guy, but you have to remember that I'm six foot three. You're like six one. I'm telling Tom Matt. That's Tom Matt. We're calling the rabbit with a five foot mohawk. Hey, epic. What's up? Be angry. I like you, kid. Ace of the house. the hell out of your career. Now, if I could go ahead, go ahead. Really quick, epic. Good luck, man. You know, you and Kyle, and this is all kidding aside. You. You and Kyle have battled before, and you and Kyle have had great matches. And tell us, do you, do you think that if if you beat, or I'm sure you say will beat, Kyle, what do you think this will do for your career? Because some people consider, and I'm one of those, consider Kyle Matthews the greatest wrestler in the South today. Yeah, um, uh, it's no, it's uh, it's a fact. I mean, Kyle Matthews technically is the best, and the fact that. He, uh, he's not wrestling, wrestling for a big company is a travesty. I mean, uh, every aspect of the business, he's the best I know. Um, and for me to beat him, uh, yes, I mean, that puts me on a whole nother level. Okay. Now, real quick, do you know about any of the rest of the matches that are going to be taking place this Friday in Piedmont? Uh, yeah. I know Tyler Gage, he's wrestling the champ, uh, Brian Alexander. Okay. And I know that was supposed to happen last week, but, as many of y'all know, Gage is a daddy now, oh. and uh, which he uh, wasn't able to make that show. So um, we have the we have the current epic speaking about the future classic. There you go. That's a nice little twist there. Um, speaking of, how can people find out more about you online? Uh, Facebook, Twitter, MySpace, LinkedIn, G Plus. Uh, yeah, I have a Facebook right now. Uh, geez, I think it's under Epic Grant, maybe Epic Grant Mitchell. It is Epic um, Grant. I think it's under Epic Grant right it now. It is. So yeah, I got you know some fans on there. Honestly, I haven't started the Twitter thing. Is that makes me sound old fashioned or whatnot? Um, you guys, you guys, twittering and all that. All four I know of us. Else is definitely uh, pushing forward these days. Uh, short version is you can find yours truly at Fast Eddie Lane, L A Y N E, uh, Wicked Nemesis, um, run it all together one word, M A underscore B O for Mark Bowman, Maybo, and Brooks Logan, run it all together for one word for uh, Brooks. So if you get on, if you get on Twitter, look us up. I will definitely do that. Um, I've been a little slacking in that area, but um, yeah, it's about that time. Now, loaded question. Um, do you also take booking inquiries on your Facebook page? Sure. I mean, you know, I'm pretty, I'm pretty booked now. You know, Fridays and Saturdays and Sundays are pretty full. Okay. But, uh, if, uh, you know, I'm, I'm trying to make my way up north. So, you know, promotions that would love to book me up there. I mean, I would love to ride, you know. I know I can only, it's, it's great being a big, uh, fish in a little pond, but I'm trying to start to branch out a little bit. And also, um, for those who would like to find out a little bit more, do you also have matches up online right now, whether it be, uh, Daily Motion, YouTube, uh, Facebook, MySpace? Yeah, there's some on YouTube I've seen, uh, fans have recorded and put up. Uh, I haven't put any on my, uh, personal Facebook. Um, but, uh, yeah, I've heard, you know, some guys I've worked say, hey, I saw our match on Facebook, bloody bloody. So, yeah, I know there is some stuff out there you can find. Okay, and we've all, we're also putting a uh, link directly off of beyondringside.com over to your Facebook page as well, so we'll be able to send some people over in that direction. Um, I got real quick. Epic, uh, the six man tag from uh, Want 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 Wrestling is actually up on my YouTube. Can I can yeah. I post everybody about that, uh, sir? That's a very poor example of Epic. Um, I had had a real bad infection in my finger, and to the point where I I know it sounds crazy. I almost lost my finger, so a I was very what I could do. Yeah, I pretty much had a zombie finger. Um, <laughs> you think? Yeah, uh, and thank God. I mean, I went to the hospital. They rushed me through the emergency room, and uh, while I'm in the emergency room, the doctors were calling other doctors over to look at my finger, you know, like, hey, come look at this shit. And uh, so, you know, I, I shouldn't have been in there, but, you know, you, you got to do what you got to do in the business sometimes. Very true, very true. And and he is not, his, guys, he is not lying. Uh, we'd heard about him before he got to the show. Kyle Matthews, he kind of like, yeah, his, his finger's bad. You know, when you think of your infected finger, and I forgot, I, didn't you do it during a match? No. Uh, what was that? Did you uh, hurt the finger during a match? Well, my, you know, I don't want to get too much away, but there was a mess up in, there was another fellow in the match, not Kyle, another guy, he, he was supposed to uh, do something else, and he tagged me in. And the hot tag hit my finger, and yeah, you know, it got banged up a little bit, but it wasn't nothing. But you know, uh, it's, uh, I'm I'm fine now. You know, I'm 100. percent So cool. We all live and uh, learn. Now, in addition to Pro South, any other current appearances that you'd like to get the word out about? Well, see, I know uh, uh, UIW. You know, 
Um, there's some great talent out there. Like I said, Deep Southern Championship Wrestling, they just became a NWA affiliate. I want to push uh, Woody's program because he's a, he's a great guy and he has a great locker room and it's out in the Blue Ridge and LJ area. Okay. And, uh, he's drawing big shows around, uh, two, three hundred people consistently. Nice. Um, so if you're ever out there, I would highly recommend, uh, checking out that show. Okay. But for right now, everybody can definitely check you out this coming Friday night, Piedmont, Alabama, Pro South, 627 Southern Avenue. You one-on-one with Kyle Matthews. Your hair versus his beard. Somebody going to be clean-shaven one way or the other, right? Yes, sir. Kyle Matthews is going to look like the little girl that he is. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, our very special guest at this time, Epic Grant Mitchell, has just gone. Beyond Ringside. Epic, I'll, I want to go ahead and say this before we go to break. The door is always open. Keep us posted on upcoming events. We'll help try to get the word out because, brother, that's what we're here for. All right. Hey, I appreciate it. Uh, Numesis, it was good talking to you again. And, um, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll give you guys a call back maybe about a month. Um, thanks for having me on, and uh, you guys have a, a happy holiday. You got it, brother. Epic, have a great Epic, hold on. Before you get off Epic, you continue yes, to do what you do. And I've told you this before, you are a great worker, and this is the honestly, this is you know, me talking to you. Continue to bust your ass like you are, and I promise you, dude. And I told Kyle this other night, you are the future of this co- of this business. Whoops. Whoops. Hey, watch the f bomb. I'm just kidding. Hey, you know that means a lot to me. And you know, I'm I'm just trying to stay humble. You know, that I have my epic character, but the truth is, I I got a shitload to learn. Um, luckily, I've try to put myself around people that uh that are there to help me and i'm lucky to be around the people that have helped me and they know who they are and i, I greatly appreciate that but uh yeah i have a long ways to go and um you know little things like this i, I really uh, appreciate you guys having me on tonight and it's the willingness to want to learn that means a lot to a lot of people in this business um you know but that's a, that's really kind of it's it takes time and it develops as time goes by who you can talk to who you um who you can shy away from and not really have to sweat it either way but brother i want to wish you the very best like i say great show coming up this weekend wish i could be there i think brooks said he may try to be out there wicked may show up for it you never know um Anything can happen with Wicked Nemesis, especially. Mabo might try to show up, too. You never know. Um, of course, I know Pro South has got a lot of big plans coming up in the very near future, so they are definitely a promotion to watch. And you are definitely on the radar in more ways than one. Epic Grant Mitchell is a name that has been flying around this area for for a little while now. And we've been trying to keep track and see what's going on in the current storyline or the current program right now with you and Kyle. Um, culminating this weekend or I'm um, getting ready to add a new chapter into it this weekend is definitely one that people should pay attention to. Uh, if, if Nemesis, uh, shows up, uh, stay away from the trash cans, please. <laughs> <laughs> and on that note, I will say, ladies and gentlemen, our very special guest, Epic Grant Mitchell has just gone beyond ringside. Stick around. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. <laughs> 